Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm having a chat time and I wanted to take it outside. We went somewhere around where we live and I had to try to find a quiet spot so if you hear cars in the background, birds, or people, I apologize but I tried to find the most quiet place I could. I just feel really led to talk to you about what I'm about to talk about today. It is not frugality based but it's something I'm going through and I wanted to talk to you guys about it to see if anyone else struggles through this because one of the things that I like to have on my channel is community. I do talk most things frugality but on Wednesdays I do veer off and this is just something that's been on my mind that I've been struggling with for a long time. I've discussed it with you guys before but not for a while so let me just get started and quit rambling. You guys know that I'm working right now with a life coach who also in the past has been or is a cycle analyst. Well, I have just been learning so much about myself in the last six months. The main thing I've learned is I can be quite complacent and I don't like stepping outside my comfort zone and I tend to be a people pleaser. The one thing that I have really noticed about myself is that I really dislike conflict and confrontation. I know I've shared that before. I wanted to kind of share with you guys where I used to be with this issue, where I am now, and what my goal is, and see if any of you can relate or if any of you have helpful tips that we can all share together. Because maybe some of you out there feel like you're too nice, you're a doormat, and you just feel like basically you allow people to treat you a certain way and people can get away with it because you don't set the boundaries. If any of you do struggle with those things, maybe this video may be helpful or relatable to you and maybe some of the comments from the other viewers may be helpful because some of you may have struggled with this. Well, let me just say this. I used to tell everybody everything and basically I would get defensive or upset if they gave me a response I didn't like. The good news is this, I've really cut down on what I share with other people. Kind of silence is golden. That takes care of about 70% of unwanted advice and things that I don't like to hear. That's number one. The other thing is I used to feel like I had to defend and explain myself to everybody, which is exhausting. And then especially if people don't understand, you keep trying to re-explain the same thing over and over again. Wasn't getting me anywhere. I don't do that anymore or very rarely. So that those are positive things. I'm moving in the right direction. But what I really have noticed about myself is I'm still struggling with setting up boundaries and I am still struggling with avoiding difficult topics or topics that make me feel uncomfortable or just not wanting to get in being bombarded and playing a hundred questions. I know maybe you understand and I'm gonna give a couple examples, get some feedback from you guys and see where we go with this. By the way, I hope you guys don't mind me doing this outside today. I just wanted to change things up because I always seem to film inside my house. You guys are very gracious, but I thought I would just try something new, so let me know how you like me being outside today. So that being said, I've noticed that I've gone from not mentioning things and not defending myself to when someone asks a question that I don't really want to get into and I'm going to give you some examples in a minute. What I tend to do is I answer the question kind of briefly and immediately change the subject. Now if I was having a discussion with you and I asked a question or brought up something and you change the subject, right away I have emotional intelligence where I know, eh, this person doesn't want to go there with that topic. And I would know not to do that, but not everybody has emotional intelligence and they don't take hints. That's why we sometimes have to be more direct with people and that's where my personality flaws come in and I wanna be honest with you guys about that. And I'm gonna just give you a few examples. I have a friend of mine and it's okay that she's this way. She eats everything organic, everything non-GMO and she's into everything um, basically very health related. She is kind of someone that doesn't believe in vaccinations, things like that. Wonderful person, very healthy, okay? But she'll ask questions about what I'm eating. And if I answer it, then she asks more questions and wants me to read all the ingredients. To be blunt with you, I don't want to go there with all that. I don't want to have that exhausting discussion with her because we don't make the same life decisions and that's okay. Well, 
what I noticed is the last few times she asked me about what I was eating, I said, oh, I'm just eating. I said, oh, it changes every day. I just, it depends on my mood. And then I changed the subject, which she went along with. That sounds great that I did that, but this is the issue. That topic will come up again because I didn't nip it in the butt. And that's my next step where I need to go with and say, you know, I really don't want to have this discussion with you. It's great you're concerned, but I don't want to talk to you about how we eat. We eat differently. That's okay. But let's change the subject. And if the person, and I've done that kind of thing, but the person pushes me and then I end up going along with it, which is not good. So that's my next step. And I notice that sometimes people pepper with questions and then you answer them and then they're not satisfied and they keep bombarding you and on and on and on. And then I'm feeling stressed out. So I'm at the point now where I am going to have to take that next uncomfortable step and tell whoever it is, I'd like to talk about something else, whether it's about what I eat, what decisions I make in my family, it doesn't matter what it is, to change the subject. And if that person, and if I ask nicely and that person doesn't respect it or starts bombarding, that I need to say, you know, it doesn't seem like we're connecting here, I'm going to go ahead and hang up and just hang up. That's where I'm getting to at the point. There's only a few people in my life, not any of you by the way, but some people in my life that do this type of thing, that they don't take a hint with gentle nudging and changing topic. So I'm going to need to be more direct and that's where my challenge comes in. And, and I'm moving the right direction, but I still struggle with this about basically setting the boundary, sticking up for myself, telling someone I don't want to talk about something chain and then moving on and if they don't respect say I'm gonna go ahead and hang up now and not return their calls that's the point that I'm gonna to need to get to with a few folks in my life which by the way these folks do not watch the channel and don't go on YouTube at all so just to let you guys know so that's kind of where I wanted to go with that and I wanted to say something funny you guys don't know my father this is a little off topic but on topic I'll just say this he was a truck driver in a marine and full-blooded Hungarian. He is the type of guy that would do anything for you and help you in any way he could. But he is extremely direct. When I think of some of the boundaries that I haven't set up and some of the things that, ways that I have allowed people to treat me and not set up those boundaries to have enough respect for myself, I always think about some of the responses that my father would give to those folks and I'd love to share those with you. But that would not be a family-friendly YouTube video. So I won't share with some of my father's responses, but my mom always kind of struggled with some of those things, same things. My dad was more direct, and I'll be honest with you, I would love to have a little more directness in my life. I would like to know from you guys, do any of you out there struggle with this? Or if you don't, did you used to struggle with it, but you've learned over time, I'm not gonna do it because honestly, me not nipping it in the bud and me handling it now, what happens is, is I rethink those negative feel feelings and it brings up more stress in my life because I'm just pushing off a problem for a later time. And I'm gonna give you one more example. I have another friend of mine that always wants to know about my doctor visits. I wouldn't mind just saying, yeah, the doctor visit went fine, everything's good, or yeah, she'd like me to work a little bit on this, no problem. But the issue is this person asks detailed questions and goes on and on. And she recently said, oh, you haven't mentioned you haven't gone to the doctor late. And I said, oh, I have an appointment in December. I didn't tell her that I just got back from the doctor. And what I should have said is, yes, I just got back. Everything's great. And then if she would have asked questions, say, eh, I don't want to go into detail. Just know everything's good. Let's change the subject. That's what I should have done because what I'm doing is I'm pushing off the stressful con the conversations for a later time. I'm tabling it for later by basically avoiding uncomfortable topics rather than nipping it in the bud. I wanted to share these struggles with you guys because I like to be real. I know this isn't frugality based. I just wanted to have this conversation because I want to know, does anyone else struggle like this? And if so, let me know. And have you gone through this? And if so, what has been an effective tool for you? I want to hear from you. I know I've discussed this before, and I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I wish I wasn't so kind all the time. I know it's a good quality, but it come, with me being kind and cheerful all the time, it does come with some consequences. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off. I love you. I appreciate you. 
and thank you for listening to me. It means a lot. Love you. Bye-bye.